Welcome to Adobe Character Animator. We bring Photoshop and Illustrator art to life. Our goal is to make character animation easy and expressive. We allow you to perform your character's actions without forcing you to edit keyframes for weeks on end. If you're used to custom character rigs and complicated expressions, we have a place for you too. Just because it's easy doesn't mean that it's simple. I'm going to show you our friend Red Monster here in Illustrator. So what we have is a typical layered document. We've got the head, we have a mouth, and due to how these are named, if you follow these rules, your character will automatically be compatible in Character Animator without any additional rigging required. So where's my magic wand? Up oh, there it is. So, got it. The first thing you'll notice is the character and I are responding to the position rotation, and scale of the camera. Along with that, when I blink, he blinks. When I look around, raise my eyebrows up and down. Smile or look surprised, the character does too. And finally, the audio coming into the computer is being analyzed and the mouth shapes are being automatically switched for effortless lip sync. Okay, so what's next? Whoop, there we go. And, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh boy, we better switch to a safer scene here. Well, that was ridiculous. So that previous scene was played entirely live using just the keyboard and mouse along with the camera and the microphone. So I've got this cool fish guy here. Um, first of all, this was made in Photoshop and I know this is not the way I want it to look, so I'm just actually going to perform an edit original, show that in Photoshop, and revert this last change I had made. There we go. And I'm just going to save that, and when I switch back to Character Animator, this is automatically updated, which is a nice back and forth between the applications. So, um, I'm going to show you some more advanced behaviors we have. We've got some physics-based animations I can show you. Um, right now, you can see the fin on top. I don't know if you can see it moving, but I'd like to accentuate that. So, I have this guy here, and we have a behavior called dangle. And let me just drop that a bit, and there you go. You can see that um, now physics is, ba is uh, affecting the character. Um, that looks like a little loose, so I'm going to bring that up. And the next thing you see, we've got this bubble sticking on the mouth. Um, this is a particle effect, and I am going to target that bubble particle. And right now, you can see emitter opacity is at 100. I'm going to make it invisible, and I'm going to turn on continuous mode. And by doing so, you can see that the fish is now emitting bubbles from the mouse location. So this expands the capabilities of the character quite considerably. And finally, um, I am going to select Monster Fish and show you the breathe behavior. Um, all of these behaviors are JavaScript and anybody can write it. Um, for the time being, this is something that Adobe is doing, but we expect to um, allow anybody to write things to extend their characters. So um, I'm going to up this breathing scale a bit, and you can see that the character is now breathing a bit. Um, and he also has a keyboard capability to go, oh, I'm so bloated. All right, so Character Animator is, we call it a preview one right now, and that means that we're still seeking feedback from users, but it's at the point we'd really like people to take a look at it. So this is available as part of the Creative Cloud. If you own After Effects, you will get Character Animator preview one. And we're looking for feedback so that we can guide the development and make it all that it can and should be. Thank you.